Hello, this is quick and dirty video to show you how the Artnet support works with Voyagers and Luminaire app. So, on the latest app, you have this Artnet on and off button here. So, I have lamp added here already. I turn Artnet on from here. And I actually want to make two strokes. So, the Artnet uh, slash DMX channels are per stroke. So, now there's one stroke with DMX starting from one. I want to um, paint pixel, add stroke, and I make it red, like so. And I put that DMX offset to starting from five. Excellent. Now I can see that if I uh, select stroke, this one, is DMX starting from 1, this is DMX starting from 5. Excellent. And now I want to actually turn the intensity uh, off. Also let's turn saturation off, uh, like so. So this is because if you transmit a zero value on DMX, um, it then goes to default. So I want the default to be uh, zero, you know, like so, like so, like so. Okay, we are ready for Artnet control, and now the Voyager should remember, or actually it remembers when turning on and off, it remembers that the Artnet is on, and yeah. Now I open the Luminaire. And here's the Luminaire app. There is yet no ready-made fixture or profile in Luminaire for Voyager, but hopefully there will be. Anyway, I will create one. Only thing you need to remember is this ITSH. This is how the channels are. It's really easy to remember. It's a, it's a. Okay, so let's create a profile for Voyager in Luminaire. I select plus, DMS fixture, create a profile. How many DMX channels does this profile require? So let's make it just a very simple four channel fixture. Many factor name is DS. Next, Voyager. Great. First channel is, uh, as we see from here, it's intensity. Let's scroll, yep, here is intensity. Next is temperature and da -da -da -da. yeah. So warmth from this range, excellent. Uh, next is saturation, like so. S, like saturation. Uh, and the last one is the hue, which is basically the color. So it's H, like so. And yeah, that all matches. And yes, let's add the profile, starting from um, address one. And it created these sliders. And let's see what happens if I turn the slider. So yay, I have the lamp turning on. And if I put this in the center, so now it's turning white. I add a new fixture for the other part, other stroke of the lamp, DMS fixture. Select profile. Here's DS, Voyager, yes. And starting from five, that's correct. And now, as you can see, the other side of the lamp is in control. And yeah, if I want to click here, here's the color wheel. Works nicely. Um, and if I click here, here's the also the temperature control, like so. So now I have the Luminar app. I can make a like scene, like so. And then let's make a new scene, um, like so. So now you can see I'm switching between the scenes, like so. And it's simple as that. There are many of these Luminar tutorials. Now I want to add um, MIDI control to this. So here I have a Roland keyboard with Bluetooth MIDI support. You, it's actually maybe wiser to use some like hardware control with MIDI using the 
camera connector kit on iPad and use it wire, wired. Uh, this is just for power from the power bank. So how this works is that you connect these via Bluetooth and then from here, from this green button, um, there is interface and here I can see Roland A1 Bluetooth. So it's already selected. And from this little button here is a mode called MIDI Learn. And I show, okay, this slider, well, okay, it already has some value. So I show that I want to control this slider with this knob. Okay, then I choose this slider here. And actually now I want to choose that one. And then I put it to this knob here. So now I have two knobs, or these ones, and I can fade back and forth. As so, and I can also teach scenes. So let's have this scene to be triggered by this key. And this scene, hello, hello, uh, okay, I need to press OK. And then this scene by key, like so. Okay, and now as we can see, I'm playing the two scenes. Isn't that great? So that's it. Thank you.